<laughs> it's funny because the movie's for kids, but we're treating it like it's like it's funny, bro. It's funny. If my manager insults me again, I will be assaulting him. I need to struggle. We've dipped our toes in this topic on the famous video, and since then, I've seen niggas that have worse than me grow bigger and faster than me. I'm not gonna lie and say it doesn't bother me. It does. But I'm not jealous. I just envy them. In fact, I'm, I'm proud of them. <laughs> I'm just so proud of them that I just need to delete all of my social media so I don't have to see I'm that I'm always shit consuming bullshit, and I believe that that's messing with my attention span and ruining my drive and focus to make these videos. It's clouding my mind with nonsense, and I can never get a deep thought in. I simply just don't have the willpower to resist the temptation of laying down and sitting on TikTok all day. But what I've learned from what I've learned <laughs> is that willpower is a muscle, and every Every time you resist a desire, you're using that muscle. The more you resist, the less willpower you have throughout the day. If you resist playing on your phone all day during work, you might not have the willpower to resist playing on your phone at home or watching Netflix or not getting your homework done. I don't know what niggas at work do. There's this book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. And what he said in this book that there is a four part habit cycle, the cue, the craving, the response and the reward. You're bored. That's the cue. That's the cue to crave scrolling on TikTok. You then respond to the craving by getting on your phone and scrolling on TikTok. And then you are rewarded with a loop of short-term dopamine rushes. The book says the key to getting rid of bad habits is to get rid of one of the four parts, mainly the cue. So with the TikTok habit, the cue is that you're bored, right? If the cue is that you're bored, don't be bored. Make yourself busy. And if the craving is still there, delete the app or put a timer on the app. That's self-control. Willpower is walking past your TV every day and saying, no, I will not watch you. Whereas self-control is not even having the TV in your room. Willpower is having an amazing cake in your fridge, waiting till next month to eat it on your birthday. Whereas self-control it's just running through the cake aisle with your eyes closed. Um, well, don't you need willpower to not go to the store well, anyway? Yes, yes you do. But it takes less willpower to do that than it is to actually be in front of the cake every day. Canel Joseph went on a peer-to-peer -peer podcast a week ago, and he said that he willingly slept in his car. He had an apartment, but moved out purposefully and slept in his car to pump out these videos. He brushed his teeth in Walmart, did pranks, then would edit them in truck he stops. He ate 40 cent burritos from the gas station, and he said that he only ate once a day. I think he purposely does this because he knows that that would keep the drive, it would keep the hunger, it will keep him going. Me looking at this shit every day is willpower. Me walking past this shit and saying, you know what, I'm just not gonna smoke today. That's willpower. Self-control? Canel Joseph can't lay in his bed and scroll on TikTok all day because there is no bed. Okay, so I didn't actually throw this away. Um, I will one day, maybe eventually one man, but those chances would go way, 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 way higher if you liked the video. So, like, can y'all just, like, just like it? Like, so just a thumbs up, bro. It's just a thumbs up.